Mm-hmm. Viva la vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this YouTube channel. We're here every Thursday with this question and answer series and today's one is what's Asia like for vegans and activism? I travelled in Southeast Asia for six months and then again for five months in 2012 and 2013. I went to Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Burma, Laos, Vietnam, China and Cambodia and I had an amazing time. I loved the places and I loved the people there. Um, there's, ver there's many religions in Asian countries from Buddhism, Hinduism and Islam. Buddhism and Hinduism are both somewhat vegetarian religions, so it was easy to eat, especially if you found places that catered to these religions. The places that are more touristy and have a lot of Western-owned cafes and restaurants will have the most Western-style vegan food. I adore Ubud, which is in one of the islands, Bali, in Indonesia, and this is one of the great places for vegan, vegetarian, in particular, raw food. Um, most Mostly though, if you go to a lot of the western owned vegan vegetarian raw places it will be double the local sort of prices and if you can find great street food that's where it's the best place to, um, to buy food when you're over there. Um, I always say to people that in Australia we're about five years behind the US and I would say that Asia would be behind Australia five years as well. In China, they still legally have to test all their products on animals and um, the Muslim way of life is very prevalent in many areas, in particular Indonesia where I spent a lot of my time. There's a lot of mass slaughters for various occasions throughout the year, whether it's Idul Fitri or a cremation ceremony. Uh, there's a lot of groups doing some really great work in Asia from plights of cats and dogs, masked monkeys, bears, orangutans, um, exotic animals, dolphins, circuses and so much more. I spent a bit of time with the volunteers from a place called Animal Friends Jogja and Jogja is short for Yogyata which is a place in Java in Indonesia and um, they do a lot of amazing outreach in particular to kids. There's also Jakarta which is quite a well populated area and you'll find a lot of good things happening there. There's Animal Aid Network and Bawa which is Bali Animal Welfare Association and along with groups who've been around a while like Animals Australia and others. And the best way I guess that um, you could you could um, do something is just get involved, find what exists in the place that you're staying or you're visiting and um, just ask some people if who've been there before what they suggest and how to get involved. I definitely suggest that everyone should go to another country and experience a different culture than their own, but you have to be ready to do a lot of research. For example, our version of a sanctuary is in most cases not the same for our Asian friends and there are many places where animals are drugged or held captive just for Westerners money. There was one place that I went um, that I was just absolutely devastated. I did a bit of research online that seemed to be a great place but some of the places you just really don't know until you've been to them and this would be where you ask other friends where they've been to, what they suggest. Um, but there are also many other places that are real sanctuaries and great places to volunteer. For example, a wonderful place called Elephant Nature Park, which is near Chiang Mai in Thailand. And yeah, just ask some friends who've been there before what they suggest and, and also what they suggest not to do. Um, and you can live really cheaply in all these Asian places, which is, which is a really great thing. And you can learn so much about another culture. Also, for good or bad, um, Asian people really, really respect what Western people have to say. So if you have the chance to talk at a temple or a group of people or anything like that, just, you know, I really suggest that you do it. I spent a lot of my time speaking at various vegetarian events, especially for a Buddhist community and at Buddhist temples. And I also did a lot of media work over there. It was a great time and I made some really great lifelong friends. The places that I loved the most, which I'd suggest you check out, Ubud, um, which is in, the, in Bali, one of the islands in Indonesia, Penang, which is an island in Malaysia, Chiang Mai, which is Thailand, Luang Prabang in Laos, Batambong in Cambodia and Hoi An in Vietnam. All of these places 
had vegan food within walking distance from where I was staying and I was staying at really cheap sort of bungalow places the whole time. You uh, keep in mind you won't get some of your western sort of vegan alternatives in these places you're not going to find dire cheese you're not going to find it was actually really hard to find nutritional yeast flakes just for some of my food demonstrations I did you're not going to find packaged vegan food really easily at all um, you can get it and some people may be able to order it from you say from Singapore and maybe even Jakarta but if you go to some of these places I mentioned you're probably not going to find it but you will get to try some really amazing food over there in particular the fruit and veg and one of my favorite things is um, fresh Indonesian tempeh with sambal which is its chili sauce it's one of the best things in the world <laughs> And one day I'll actually get around to releasing my Southeast Asian Adventures book. And you can see it on the vivalavegan.net website, all the blogs, well, most of the blogs that I wrote when I was over there. And I hope it helps and I hope you find some great places to visit while you're over there and let me know if you have been to any other places. And um, hope to see you next week for the next question answer, which is how do I give up cheese? Thank you.